Well, it seems like I'm channeling my inner moist critical once again, since we're gonna just talk about stuff. But this time it is different, because today we're talking about drama, which is something I have not covered on the channel before. I think. Now, as you'll see by the very nature of this topic, I don't know what to put in the background, because there is not much I can put in the background, so... Poros, maybe? Anyway, today we are talking about Star Walking, again. But instead of reacting to it or reviewing it, we'll um, talk about the fact that half of the Star Walking videos were wiped from YouTube, and that included mine. By the way, whenever I show the thumbnail, uh, this is not what the thumbnail looked like. You'll see later that I have to blur part of it. But yes, uh, that's the video that was blocked. You see, all of this started when one of my viewers tweeted at me that my video was blocked. I mean, that has never happened to me before, so I went over to YouTube to check if it was true, and truly enough, not only was the video demonetized, but it was blocked, or essentially removed from YouTube. But it wasn't removed only for some countries. It was removed worldwide. Some higher power just nuked it off of the platform. So I tweeted about this and some people got confused. Some people reacted to the entire song and they even played the song and they were fine. At least they thought they were fine. Because later everyone checked their own videos and they realized they were nuked too. So someone just removed all videos talking about Star Walking. And this is where the gear started kicking in. We all know that Star Walking didn't do that well. As I mentioned in the video, which you can't watch anymore, the song was good, but it just didn't feel like a world's anthem. But some could still see this as a very bad thing. So it started to seem like someone removed the videos on purpose. Now, after I went to YouTube and I looked for the details, I found out that the video was claimed by Columbia Records. Which I assume is the company that represents Lil Nas X on YouTube. But here's a fun little fact. I made sure to never play the music during the video because I knew Riot didn't hold the rights to it. I knew it was not safe for the creators. So no, my video was not claimed for the music. It was claimed for the video. That's why I'm showing you Poros. I literally cannot show you the original video. So, one of two things have to have happened here. Either someone manually flagged all the videos, or the video was put into YouTube's automatic system. My bets are on YouTube's automatic system. Because normally, if it was manual, the entire video would be claimed. But in my case specifically, only one minute of the entire video matched the original anthem. Even though, in that part, I am standing in front of it. Now, I know that YouTube's claiming algorithm is quite clever and so you can't really trick it. But you know, this is called transformative content. Like legitimately, if you react to it and then you get sued, yeah, you're kinda screwed. But my video contained none of the original music, and the visual side was there only for context. In a way, a news report would show you what they are talking about for context. It's really hard to get more transformative than that. Anyway, all the creators who didn't have their videos on full screen still have their videos up. So it had to be an automatic system. But here's the strange thing. Riot has never done this before. They never put any of their videos into the automatic system, because they know how much it messes up with their creators. But that's the thing, the videos were not claimed by Riot. Even though they are the ones who own the video. No, it was claimed by Sony on behalf of the Columbia Records. The company that should only own the music. So what on earth is going on here? Even weirder than that, for the first six days, all videos were fine. If the video was in the ID claim system, it would be there from the very first day. In these cases, from the moment your video gets uploaded, after it processes, YouTube's automatic system flags the video. That way, you know that something is wrong even before you publish it. Then of course, sometimes you hear about creators whose videos were taken down later after their videos took off. 
but in those cases it is always manual. The best example was Angry Joe when he was talking about the Halo series. The authors kept taking down his videos because they didn't like the fact that he critiqued them. But in our case, that's not happening. All of this really was automatic. So, something must have happened on the sixth day. Was Riot afraid of damaging Lil Nas X's reputation because the video didn't do that well? Did Columbia see their value go down and so they decided to fight against it? Well, normally the videos would be flagged for copyright, but the videos would stay up. And the creators share some revenue with the original author. But here, all the videos showing star walking were just wiped out. So it really felt like damage control. So, together with Chibin and Skin Spotlights, investigations happened. And we found the stupidest thing. Perhaps some higher-ups were trying to censor people? Was Riot going after their own creators to save the reputation of an artist they commissioned? Or was it something far, far worse? No, it was something far, far stupider. Absolutely none of these nukes happened because of Riot. They had nothing to do with this. It had nothing to do with the copyright of this music or this video. Because the issue is this video. That's right, six days after the original anthem was released. Lil Nas X re-uploaded the anthem on his channel. And by doing so, he added it into the automatic system. Now, normally, it would make sense for him. I don't think he's doing this on purpose, I legitimately believed he has it as a preset. Whenever he uploads a video onto his own channel, we can all assume it is his original work, and so it is automatically put into the system to protect his work from being stolen. All of this is probably a preset, so it all happens without him even knowing it. But in this case, that shouldn't be the case. I mean, what's the legality here? The video was commissioned by Riot, so Riot has to hold the rights to it. So if Lil Nas X re-uploads the video, Riot technically has the rights to take it down. They should be able to strike him even though Lil Nas X was the first one to use the automatic system. I mean, you know, Riot has not used the automatic system at all for a reason. Now, of course, Lil Nas holds the rights to the audio, but that's not what's being claimed here. I'm purely talking about the visuals commissioned by Riot. Now, what could be the case is that Columbia Records holds the rights to everything, and they only allow Riot to upload the video on their channel. But that would be very stupid, there is no way that's the case. But if it is the case, you know, it would make sense why Columbia would have the full creative freedom, and that would be why it wouldn't really land with the core audience. But no, that's definitely not what's happening. Whatever the case, the reality is, because one person used the automatic system in a bad way, everyone's videos got nuked. And it didn't even matter if it was a reaction or a fair review. Everyone got hit. But thankfully, no one got a strike. If people got strikes on their channels, people would riot. Because at that point, livelihoods would be endangered. But still, that is not where the craziness ends. If you re-upload a video with the music, but maybe you put the lyrics there as the visuals, you get claimed, but the video stays up. But if you show the video, it gets blocked and essentially removed from YouTube. So for some reason, the ID system is set up in a way where you can upload a video with the song, but you just won't be able to monetize it. But you are not allowed to show the video at all. And the reason why that's happening is because Columbia Records have their ID set up so that they can claim whenever someone is using their music. But after Lil Nas X re-uploaded the video, he had his ID set up so that it would block whenever someone is using his video. And this resulted in a mess where the video and the audio of the anthem was divided into two systems. Where YouTube thinks each part is owned by a different person. But one person claims their part and the other one blocks their part. So yeah, that's what this drama is about. Now you tell me, what should I do? Should I just re-upload the video but put poros there instead of the visuals? 
or should I just wait for someone to fix it? I mean, people liked the video, everyone agreed with what I had to say, because I just talked about what people think about the video, so I would really love to have that video up. But yeah, that's me covering drama, something new on the channel. Now normally I would end the video with a joke, but I'm not really sure if I want to do that now. Copyright is a very serious topic. So all I can say is, don't ever say it's over if I'm breathing. But I need a writer to hold their breath and fix this mess. <laughs>